The Lord be with you. Well, what is in your pandemic playlist? What are those things that you are watching or listening to or reading about that are helping you to not only get through these days, but also uh, to navigate these days well as we go through these very crazy and tumultuous times? Uh, It has been kind of fun over the last year and a half, at least fun for me, I'm hoping fun for you as well, to just kind of look at those cultural elements, uh, some of those media uh, venues that have um, provided for us space to be distracted, uh, but also space to reflect upon ourselves and what we're going through, uh, not necessarily from the lens of the church, but definitely through a spiritual lens, as we're looking for God in the details, speaking to us through our culture uh, and through some of these means uh, that help us to see things differently and to journey differently because of the days that we're living in. Uh, So we have talked about movies, we have talked about books, we have talked about music, uh, but one thing that we haven't talked about yet in this series uh, has been a series itself, like a television series or a series on a streaming service. Um, And the series that I want to talk about today and that I want to recommend for your pandemic playlist is the series Monk. Uh, So Monk was originally a television series which debuted all the way back in the year 2002. So this isn't something that most of you probably haven't heard of, maybe most of you have already seen or or at least uh, seen parts of. Uh, Monk was something that um, I avoided for a long time. Uh, It had been recommended to me for years and years and years by a whole different variety of people, Uh, people from different age demographics, uh, different genders, uh, different tastes in entertainment. So I was intrigued by that. I knew that enough people liked it that it probably was a good show uh, and that I should probably watch it. But for whatever reason, it just didn't pique my interest, didn't necessarily fit into my timetable with what I was doing. It's very difficult for me to get into episodic series uh, because it is a time commitment. Um, I can usually do a movie or an individual episode of something, maybe a short mini series, because uh, your time commitment is much smaller and then it's done. Uh, but Monk went on for eight seasons, uh, so it just wasn't something I was ready to invest in. And then um, uh, about a month ago, uh, I was with my mother in Flint, Michigan. And while I was visiting with her, uh, she found this new channel that she loves. It's called something like uh, Hallmark Mysteries, I think, or at least Mysteries is in the title. Uh, So like a branch off of the Hallmark channel that was dedicated to just movies and TV shows that revolved around mysteries. Uh, Things like uh, Murder, She Wrote, which my mom sort of raised me on. Uh, And while I was there, there were a couple of episodes of Monk that played back to back. So I was only half watching. I mean, it was part of a visitation. So a lot of times it was just on in the background. But because a couple episodes went by, and these are hour long episodes, um, if you're watching it on streaming or on video without the commercials, about 45 minutes. Uh, Because they were longer form, um, it just sort of began to seep into my subconscious. Uh, And over time, towards the end of that second episode, I remember thinking, you know what, this isn't bad. I I really could sit down and watch this show. Um, I came back from that visit uh, intending to start that series. And then oddly enough, uh, my household went into quarantine. uh, And all of a sudden I had all this extra time on my hands to watch things and to read things. Uh, So I did look up Monk, and I began that first season. Uh, And I want to say this was a good show. Um, It certainly uh, is very clean. Uh, I was surprised when it came up on that Hallmark Mystery Channel that it was rated TVPG. So nothing uh, overtly strong or severe in it. Uh, But it is equal parts mystery. I mean, it is a whodunit. 
Uh, so every episode kind of has a standalone um, murder mystery that Monk is trying to solve. Uh, but it's also comedy, uh, social comedy and physical comedy. So uh, it just works very well. If you don't know, if you're one of the few people who don't know any of the backstory to Monk, uh, he is a former police detective. He is suspended uh, because of um, the death of his wife. Now, this is not really a spoiler. Uh, when you watch the first episode of the series, his wife is already dead. He's already been suspended. Uh, really, you have to piece together the backstory of what happened to his wife through various episodes. Uh, but when the this show begins, he, he already is this way. Um, and it just jumps you right into an individual case. Uh, and you sort of pick up his backstory as you go. So uh, after his wife's death, uh, he developed the sudden and acute onset of a whole bunch of obsessive compulsive disorders and um, phobias. Uh, and it made it impossible for him to serve uh, on the police force, although he is trying to prove himself uh, back into the police force. Uh, and it's also made navigating the world very, very difficult. So he has a nurse that follows him around. Um, her name is Sharona, and they are polar opposites. They are an odd couple, and uh, they have that quirky chemistry that just really works well in the show. Um, and his phobias sort of take center stage and just become part of what makes him so endearing. And that is actually why I want to recommend it for your pandemic playlist, uh, is because Monk is so averse to sneezes and to coughs and to uh, people touching things and wiping things, uh, even shaking hands with people, that um, it immediately stood out to me that this is a good microcosm uh, for these days of pandemic, uh, as we are all hypersensitive uh, to people sniffling and sneezing and coughing and germs and all of those sorts of things. Um, and it just, it gave me a good opportunity to stand back and to laugh at Monk, but also to laugh at myself and our society. Um, and humor sometimes is the best way forward, the best way to heal from things. Uh, that we really have all become sort of germaphobes in these days, uh, that it's good to be able to poke a little fun at that and still have um, the satisfaction of a murder mystery occurring uh, to do a little bit of brain puzzle and brain teases as um, we're watching something entertaining. Uh, just one scene that I would really like to highlight for you, especially if you've never seen it, in the pilot episode... Uh, Monk is waiting to um, interview a potential witness uh, to a crime, and she is doing a community service event at a public library uh, to all of these um, grade school age children. Uh, and the camera singles out all of these kids' um, quirky, uh, boundaryless. Um, germ spreading activities that they do from their coughs to their drool to their uh, touching things, wiping things, smearing things all over. And Monk becomes more and more horrified as he's waiting for this lady to finish reading this story. Uh, he begins to slowly pull the, the collar of his shirt up, you know, over his nose to protect himself, to mask himself. Uh, and then he suddenly looks over and there is a young child standing right next to him uh, who has his face finger buried up his nose. Uh, and as he pulls it out and as he looks at his finger and it just slowly starts to move towards his mouth, uh, they cut away to Monk's reaction, this sheer shrieking of horror. Uh, and then it cuts to the post scene after he's been removed and the witness that he was waiting to interview has to come to him because he got kicked out of this public event. Uh, I thought it was just a very timely piece of humor for the days that we're going through. Uh, so again, we are trying to treat this particular series, the Pandemic Playlist, as a virtual community 
Uh, so please feel free to leave comments below. If you have seen Monk, tell me what you thought about it. Tell me if you had favorite episodes. I'm still in season one. Uh, it's eight seasons in total, so I got a long way to go. Um, if you are interested in watching Monk uh, but haven't yet, go ahead and tell me about that. If you get around to watching Monk and have a particular impression about it, um, let me know about that. And if you have any recommendations for um, shows to watch, movies to see, books to read, music to listen to, that kind of stuff, uh, feel free to mention that in the comments as well. Uh, and because this is virtual community, you can do all of those virtual community things like subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up or like for the video. Uh, all of those things, I guess, kind of help things circulate in the algorithm of the virtual sphere that we all operate in. But regardless, until the next time, in these ongoing days of uh, phobias and fears, may the peace of God be with you. Amen.